Rise of the Machines, or just a coffee maker? Secure Ninja. Here at DEF CON, we like to cover a lot of hacking, but hacking by definition is using something for which it was never originally intended. We found the perfect example of that. Evan Booth here has created something. How are you, Evan? I'm well, thanks. How are and you? I'm doing well, thank you. It's the last day of DEF CON, but we're so excited to talk to you about this robotic hand. Tell us about this. Sure, okay. So this is a uh, bionic uh, transradial prosthetic, and it is made entirely of uh, one Keurig. Keurig. Keurig like the coffee maker. I'm very familiar with that technology. And that's yep. in here? Yes. No. What on earth? How? I'm not seeing any coffee maker in here. Ah, uh, so. how this works. Do you uh, this? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, uh, I guess there, there isn't much that you would, you would uh, I, I guess, recognize from the outside here. Uh, <laughs> most of this stuff is internal. But like this, uh, this motor here, this is the, uh, the thing that, um, actually powers the pump that gets the water out of the reservoir into the boiler. Uh, this guy uh, is a, originally an air pump, and it's designed to, once your water is hot enough, that it, it rams air into the boiler and then forces that water out into your coffee grounds, into your cup, right? Okay. This is actually the, uh, I think, the collar of the boiler right here. Okay. Uh, this is just case plastic. This is part from, from the reservoir, that clear thing that you can see there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I've got a little, um, I don't know, warning label here on this plastic. I, I think that came from the bottom, maybe? I don't know. But all of this stuff was just, uh, you know, hand cut and, and, you know, heated up and shaped. So, it is. It is this now. So it's not only motorized by the Keurig. Every part of it is from the Keurig. Yeah, every single part. That is incredible. And that was the challenge. Yeah, absolutely, and it looks good. No thanks. Can we see it in action? Oh, sure. <laughs> That's amazing! Well, thanks. What inspired you to create this? You know, I've been looking at Keurig just in general for a while. Because yeah. um, I think last year that some study came out and it was like nearly one in three homes have one of these, right? right. And these have lots of uh, little mechanical issues here and there, some electrical stuff, and they, they get tossed, but like there's still a lot of good stuff inside. Right. And so, uh, I don't know, that's an interesting problem because like all of, all of these great components that can do this, you know, right. they just get tossed out once, when it wants to start making coffee. So, right. I don't know, it's a, an interesting problem, I guess. Absolutely. Okay, so maybe step by step, tell us about the build. Gotcha, well actually I, I recorded the entire thing. I did a, did a time lapse. Uh, start to finish was about a, 199 hours and, and 56 minutes and 36 seconds. Wow, so, now you timed it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I, uh, I didn't really have a plan going in. Just uh, sort of had a general idea of, of you know, what, what mechanically things would look like. Right. And um, just sort of roughed it in as I went. Excellent. And you actually gave a talk here at DEF CON about this. How was that received? It was a lot of fun. I had a blast. Yeah. And uh, people seemed to like it. So. I wonder if you've inspired people to go and take their Keurigs and do crazy things with them. Well, I certainly hope so. I hope so too. Yeah. So now that you've completed the hand, what is your next challenge? Well, um, I've got a few things that I'd, I'd like to look at building out of a Keurig, uh, or a single Keurig. Uh, next, I want to move on to firearms, I think. Firearms. Firearms. Um, and uh, not, not from like, a, ah, you know, guns, you know, violence perspective, right. but like firearms as a, as a legitimate tool that we've used for centuries to do accomplish good things, you know? Right. So uh, the other, other stuff would be, uh, like, I want to see if like water purification is possible. I think it'd be really cool. I think there are applications for, uh, for like you know, watering a garden. Mm -hmm. Definitely yeah. seems seems like a natural fit for that. Absolutely. Uh, I'd love to build an aquarium out of one. You know, like mm -hmm. you know, little bubblers and like the little you know, skeleton guy, you know, flopping around. Definitely. That that guy. You know the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. <laughs> have you notified Keurig of what you've done here? I have not. No, you no. I, yeah, I'd like to reach out. You know. Uh, <laughs> I don't see what they think about it. Yeah, I'm sure they love it. Now, how many cups of coffee went into building this? Oh shoot! Oh, uh, I forget. I forget when I even. I could probably no. I could probably tell you exactly, like a, a a pretty close close approximation. But I'd have to sit down with some paper or something. I don't know. Quite a few. You're a numbers guy. I can tell. I would I would never count something like that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> there is an exact number. You know, it, it's out there. Right. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to show us this and show our viewers your amazing bionic hand, is what you call it. It's my pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you. We look forward to what you make next year. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks.
We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Secure Ninja TV. If you're not yet a subscriber, click the red subscribe button below so you don't miss any of the content we're producing here from DEF CON 24. Also, leave us a comment below and let us know what you thought of this episode. Let us know if you were at DEF CON and let us know what sort of future content you would like to see. I'm Alicia Webb and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!